Welcome to my introduction to networking course, typically abbreviated ITN. This will be for the CCNA version 7 curriculum. Hello and welcome to lab 16.4.6, configuring secure password and SSH. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to modify my window. I have the address diagram off the side, so uh, I don't have to uh, keep scrolling back through it. So read this scenario. Basically, we're a network admin. He's asked us to prepare RTA and switch one for deployment to be able to do SSH. So how do we do this? We're going to do one objective with two steps. So configure the IP address on PCA according to the address charts. Scroll out a little bit. All right, PCA is 172.16.1.10. Subnet should be a uh, 255.255.255.0. Default gateway should be 1.1. All right, that should be good for that. We got 4%. Awesome. So, console into RTA from the terminal on PCA. Terminal. Use the defaults. Okay. All right, there we are. Configure the host name and address. So that means we got to get to our privilege exact mode. We need to get to our global configuration. So conf t. First one, host name, RTA. We need to configure the IP address of an RTA and enable the interface. So we are looking at gig 00, zero based off of the address chart so interface gig 0 slash 0 IP address 172.16.1.1 space subnet turn it on no shutdown all right move that off to the side we're now at 10 percent we've completed step one a b c d all right, E, we need to go ahead and enable service password. So service, password encryption. We need to set minimum length for passwords. So security, passwords, I'm going to do a question mark min length give it the number we can set minimum characters we're doing 10. set a strong secret password choose the password that you uh, will need to reset in the activity if you are locked out so enable secret I'm just going to go ahead and give it a password. Cisco. Yep, Cisco. Oh, that's right. It has to be 10 characters. Cisco, Cisco. All right. G is done. If I fat finger something, we don't want it to do a DNS lookup, so no IP domain look up we're going to set the domain name to ccna.com again it is case sensitive so ip domain name ccna.com that takes care of i we are going to create a user so Username, Joe, you know what, username, Josh, 
Secret. Cisco. Cisco. And we do need to generate a RSA key. We have to set some type of encryption. So we will do crypto key generate RSA. By default, it's 512. We want to do 1024. Generated the key. The keys are not exportable. That portion is done. L. We want to lock login for 180 seconds after four failed attempts within 120 seconds. So, login block for 180 attempts for within 120. Basically, this says block for 180 seconds. If you do four attempts within 100, uh, 120 seconds, within two minutes, uh, block the login. We're not going to test this unless it makes us, because I don't want to just waste two minutes of waiting. All right, now we need to set up our virtual terminal to use SSH. Line ETY04. That's all five virtual terminals transport input SSH that now is going to deny any additional virtual connections we are using a console connection but it will not allow any virtual connections unless we're using SSH login local we also want the exact timeout to be six all right so that's what we need we will hop over to our PC 172.16.1.1 we can communicate with it perfect Sign SSH TAC L Josh and the target 172.16.1.1 password Cisco Cisco. It won't display on the screen, that's normal, and we have connected. So we have allowed for SSH on our router. So, on our switch, we're going to go ahead. We could change the console cable from the router to the switch. We could do that. But it's not having us do that. It wants us to instead cheat and go to the CLI tab. All right. So, for this... We're going to go ahead and do the next part. So click on switch. We're going to configure the host name. It means we got to get to our global configuration. Host name, SW1. We need to set the IP address on VLAN 1. So interface VLAN 1. VLAN 1. Got to spell VLAN correctly. Got to do the IP address. IP address 172.16.1.2 with a 225 or 255.255.255.0 subnet. Turn on the interface. No shutdown. There we are. 
All right. We've enabled and we've set it. Configure the default gateway. IP default gateway 172.16.1.1. Disable all unused ports. So, I'm going to go ahead and end show IP int brief. Conf t int range f2 ones in use 24 comma and gig 0 slash 2 shut down Now they're all turned off. Encrypt all plain text passwords. So we did that earlier with a service password encryption. That's taken care of. We need to uh, set a strong secret password. Enable secret. Cisco, Cisco. We need to disable IP domain lookup. So IP domain lookup. All right. We need to set the domain. So IP domain name ccna.com. Again, it's case sensitive. We need to set up a user, username, Josh, secret, Cisco, Cisco. We need to generate a key, crypto, Key generate. Oh. oh, helps if you spell it correctly. Crypto key generate RSA ten twenty four. All right, that's taken care of. We need to do the VTY, set the timeout, and then save the configuration. We're uh, double checking. Configure SSH, use the local user profile, set the exec. All right, it's not having us do the lockout, but line VTY zero through four. Transport input SSH login local exact timeout six end copy run start. Let's try to FTP to the switch. Cisco, Cisco. And it works. All right, so we're showing 94 of 100. Let's check our results. Oh, switch has more than
Alright, we'll have to go ahead and do the router first. And copy run start. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I did miss O. So that takes care of that. Conf T. Zero through fifteen. Transport timeout. Login local. And copy run start. Now we're at a hundred. Gonna double check that. FTP works. Go back. FTPing to 1.2. Cisco, Cisco. And FTP, or sorry, FTP to the switch still works. SSH, not FTP, to the switch still works. All right, that takes care of this lab. Questions, concerns, thoughts, let me know. If you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out. Again, with this material, being able to ask questions and discuss some of the topics in the lecture help build long-term retention, so do not be afraid to, to communicate with this topic. Again, I'm here if you need anything. Thank you.